talk about who this is and why I picked him and why I kept him back. So this is Grammy. Seventh puppy out of eight. Male out of Max and Maggie. Good boy. And so I, I picked him because I, he was confident, he was calm, even keeled, and he was independent. And so when, when he was a puppy, he was the first one to run out into the woods on his own. He never really followed the pack. He was kind of out doing his own stuff most of the time. And I the other thing is he's got even, even, oh. so he's not too excitable, but he's not too lazy. He's not sleepy. He's active. He's going to be in tryouts until I, he's old enough and I train him enough to make a good decision on whether or not we keep him, whether or not he stays part of the team or whether, I, whether or not he's got to go somewhere else. This is the first time I've taken him out to a park with an emphasis on trying to put him on squirrels. He is 17 weeks tomorrow. So the strategy too, when I'm doing this is I'm just looking around trying to find squirrels get in the area so that eventually he'll be able to notice them and then hopefully things take over his prey drive kicks up and I can encourage him and try to put him on squirrels but keeping these maybe one hour at a time or so walking around keeping him happy excited and just getting used to be out in the woods and hopefully trying to encourage that prey drive to come out because until he, he gets on squirrels and starts treeing there's no point to really take him out hunting. There's plenty of squirrels out here it's just his his world essentially uh, consists of things that are maybe 20 yards away from him and so the squirrels are taking off around 30 to 40 yards away from us and he's not really catching on to him but he is scenting him really well he's a very nosy dog he uses his nose a lot for a puppy so that's another thing i'm really looking forward to him and I, that i'm really liking about him so far What's up? We're back. We're out here. We're gonna get on some squirrels because no one else is here and I can see at least six of them just running around in the morning yet. And I think... Grammy. Come here. Come here, Grammy. Yeah. One big boy. Oh. We're gonna try something too since he's still a little young. So we're just gonna pick him up until he sees the squirrels and then I'm gonna let go. Holy shit, three squirrels up that tree. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can see six squirrels running around after we've already scared about four or five of them out. So you want to put your puppy on squirrels. Don't just take them out to the woods. The park's going to be where it's at. over there chasing each other. It's literally right there. <laughs> he's way more into using his nose right now, which is good for me. But it also means he's not seeing the squirrels and chasing them and getting that prey drive going. But 
I mean, we've probably ran into 20 squirrels already in the first five minutes. So one of the other kind of helpful things to do is um, give your puppy a reward for when he sees a squirrel. So right now the rule is leash on. You can't pull me. You can't go too far. You got to stick with me on the leash. If he sees a squirrel and he starts going after it, I'm just going to drop the leash. And he'll start to learn that if he sees a squirrel and he goes after it, he's allowed to go wherever he wants. And that's kind of a reward there. See him right there. Easy, man. Absolutely, Grammy is 100% nose right now. He hasn't even like really connected to seeing the squirrels and getting to chase them yet, which is, it makes it a little harder to start him. But he's got that curiosity about him. <laughs> yep, he's a nose dog. Come here. Come on. <laughs> yep. On the way in here, this is a, again, we're back to this short little park here with Grammy, and there were at least 12 squirrels that I count on the way in here, so we're gonna go out, and we're the only ones here right now, so let's go get them. <laughs> Holy shit, he's fast. They're on the back side of it. <clears throat> okay. So Grammy is 18 weeks right now, so he's definitely got that desire to go chase squirrels. We're just trying to get him to start treeing on the couple. Definitely much faster and more confident than last time we were here. Get him, puppy. Get him. Come here, Grammy. Get him. Up here. So that didn't take long to blow all the squirrels out of this little tiny area. So what I did that one is I just held him until he got really excited and was wiggling around and saw him running. Then I put him down, you could tell he was more excited. He was getting almost excited enough to start treeing. But there's also a lot of squirrels, so it's a lot of distractions. So I'm gonna keep doing that where I'll pick him up so we can get a lot closer. There's one over here. I'm gonna pick him up so we can get a lot closer. 
and then give him even more chance to get more excited and even start treating rather than just let him run off on his own. Also, when I hold him, it keeps the squirrels from running pretty far out. They'll let you actually get really close. <laughs> like this guy. Get him, puppy. Get him. Get him. Good boy. <laughs> that kind of counts. Hey, come here. Get him. Get him. Get him, puppy. <laughs> hey, that was a bark at the tree. I don't know if it was really a tree barker, but he was getting excited enough to start barking when he got close to the squirrel. And we were maybe 10 feet from it before. Oh, he sees it. I'm going to grab him. Easy. So, not letting him just take off and chase it is to kind of build up his excitement a little bit. So like most puppies, he's gonna be way more excited about, <laughs> Jesus, the ones at his feet that he can see and chase. Man. This one hiding. Yep. Look at how he's laying out on that branch up there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, it's right here, puppy. Let me help you. Get him, Grammy. Get him. Where is he? <laughs> what are you doing, Coop? Oh, 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 oh. Easy, puppy. Whoa, there's another one. another one up there. So we ran into a, a group of about five or six and right now they're kind of pushing around all the treetops. So I, I let him go as soon as he started to whine a little bit and get a little bit mouthy. Hey, bear me. Hey. Get over here. Come on. Okay. Get him, Grammy. Get him. Where is he, puppy? Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, Grammy. The other thing about Grammy is he's not excitable like Max is, so he's just gonna be a little bit more like Maggie. Get him, puppy. Get him. Arf. Arf. Come here. Oh my. Come here, Grammy. Where is he? Sometimes you'll see with young puppies, especially when they're excited to chase, they're just gonna want to chase. When they disappear, they're going to want to run off to the next tree. So try to at least hold them at the tree. They saw the squirrel run up for a little bit. All right, let's go. Yep. Good 
Oh boy. <laughs> Where'd you go, puppy? Oh, don't get stuck up in there. Come here, Grandma. You're good. Hey, hey, hey. Shh, shh, shh. Come here. Come here. There we go. Wow, he needs to be in the woods, it looks like. So I'm using just this really kind of thin nylon check cord. And you can buy the rope in like 100 foot lengths cut how much you need and then just put a D loop on the other end and then you can make your own check cords for pretty cheap and it's thin enough where it won't get caught up or too bad in some of these uh, woods and stuff and for a little puppy you don't really need to be restraining them anyway <laughs> get him puppy get him They ran right up there to this other tree. There's three of them. <laughs> Get him, puppy. Good boy. All right, we'll go home. Well, we're out here with Grammy again. It looks like there's not many, much squirrels, but he's six months old now. And so we are going to focus on some leash work, off leash work too. So I've got him on his little collar just to kind of work on getting a better handle on him. And if there's any squirrels, we'll see if you can start training by it. <laughs> oh, good boy. Wow. <laughs> There it is, right there. <laughs> Where is the puppy? Yo. Grammy, come on, let's go. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not going there. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. <laughs> he did it. He actually started getting squirrely. I saw him kind of... All of a sudden he just charged ahead 30 yards and sure enough, squirrel jumped into a tree right next to us and he did bark at it. He didn't know where it was, but it, his instincts are coming out where he started to want to tree it. So that's awesome. There he goes again. Oh, Grammy, 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 come on, come on. Right up this tree, right up this tree here. Right up. There it goes. Yeah. All right, he missed it. So if he kind of misses it, he's not gonna see it up there. He hasn't really learned to look up trees that much. So if he missed it, just kind of move on. You don't even see the geese. This one's getting squirrely. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You're not ready to go home yet. Uh, sitting on top of that fence, just getting warmed up. This might be what we need. and you missed them. <laughs> Damn it. Right there is one. Jump in. No, no, no. Where are you going? <laughs> yep, running up. Good boy. Get him. <laughs> Get him, Grammy. Where is he? Where is he? No, don't go over there. Stay here. Stay here. Where is he? No, no. Hey. Over here, Grammy. 
Ah, puppy. Hey. Get up here. <laughs> no, no. I'm not just chasing. Above you, you can hear it. Where's that puppy? He's right up there. He's definitely ready for the woods, though. I mean, he's there. <laughs> 